Dear friends, welcome to AS American English Center. Uh, check your story book. We have come here to the story number two. Is the video number two? Is the story number two and video number two? So, dear friends, is the inspirational, heart touching stories which we are going to see. So, in today's world, you know, 2016, in the month of April, May. Plus two results have come. Do you know which course is highly demanded? Do you know which course is highly demanded? Psychology is the course highly demanded. Why people, why youngsters want to join this psychology course? Because mentally they have problems. What is the mental problem? See, everybody are inspiring for what? happiness in life right your father buys and gives you toys your father gets you admission in a college your father gets you married and your father gets you or mother gets you a car or bike or dress it's all meant for what to give happiness right so you want to give happiness to your mother your father uh, your husband your wife so your entire life goes in with happiness 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 not only to you you want to give to others and you expect uh, happiness from others that is the purpose of life right so here is a story 99 club what do you mean by this 99 club my dear friends so happiness is all related to happiness see uh, a story once upon a time so once upon a time there lived a king who despite his luxurious lifestyle was neither happy nor content what do you mean by that so a king is there he lives a luxurious life diamond jewels horses uh, palaces people what not he has everything but he is not happy he is not content content means what satisfied with his life so a king everything is not content uh, is not happy at all so here one day the king came upon a servant who was singing happily while he worked he saw a servant happily is working and he is uh, laughing, smiling, enjoying and doing his work. This fascinated the king. The king was surprised to see how good, how happily he works. Uh, why was he? Why is he happy? And why am I sad? The supreme ruler, the king of land, unhappy and gloomy. The supreme you know, king, the ruler, he is unhappy, he is gloomy, he is sad. While a lowly servant, very poor man, a lowly servant, what happened to him? Had so much joy. The king doesn't have the joy, but that fellow is having joy. King has a lot of gold and diamond and jewelry and whatnot, but the king doesn't have the joy and happiness but the servant has a lot of joy and happiness so uh, the king supreme rule, ruler is with unhappy and gloomy while a lowly servant had so much joy the king asked the servant why are you so happy the king asked the servant why are you so happy and the man replied the servant replied your majesty I'm nothing but a servant uh, your lord I'm nothing but a servant serving others is called servant doing service is called servant i have to serve i am a servant but my family and i don't need too much we don't want too much just a roof we need a roof a small house uh, over our heads a roof over our heads to just block the rain and you know sunshine and warm food we need warm food to fill our tummies tummies means stomach right that's all enough a roof over our heads and warm food for our belly or stomach so this is what the man's reply and here the king was not satisfied with that reply the king wasn't satisfied something more should be there what is it later in the day he sought he asked the advice of his most trusted advisor so he went to his palace he asked his trusted advisor to come here he was not satisfied after hearing the king's woes the problem after hearing the king's worries why the servant is happy why am i happy and the servant's uh, story the advisor said what did the advisor say sir 
so the advisor said your majesty i believe that the servant has not been made part of the 99 club what is 99 club so the servant so the so the advisor says to the king king he has not joined the 99 club what is 99 club the king was uh, shocked and he asked 99 club what exactly is that the king inquired that i inquired king was asking what is 99 club i don't know and the advisor replied your majesty to truly know what the 99 club is the place i mean place place means what keep 99 gold coins in a bag take 99 gold coins in a bag and leave it at the servant's doorstep so take 99 gold coins and keep it at the doorstep of the servant when the servant saw the bag next day when the servant saw the bag he took it into his house he took it into his house when he opened the bag he let out a great shout of joy oh my god i got gold so many gold coins lot of gold coins were there he began to count them one by one he started counting them after servant counts he was uh, last convinced that there were 99 co uh, coins uh, at last he was convinced that there were 99 co coins so after counting he came to know that there were only 99 coins he wondered what could have happened to the last gold coin what happened to the last one coin 99 coins are there surely no one would leave the 99 coins definitely no one is going to leave 99 coins if they would have left they would have left 100 coins so one coin must be there so this fellow was worried troubled and he was uh, anxious to know what happened to the one coin so he looked everywhere he could but that that final coin was elusive he is not able to find out the one coin he was searching 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 it is elusive means what not able to be find found out finally exhausted he became so tired he decided that he was going to work harder than ever to earn that gold coin so now is this poor man poor servant 99 gold coin is there he was not satisfied with 99 coin he says i must earn that one gold coin so that i can make 100 gold coin and complete his collection so you want to collect uh, complete his collection from that day the servant's life was changed till now the servant was so happy he is not bothered about anything now for one coin searching for one coin yearning for one coin his life was changed he was overworked he started working too much horribly grumpy means what always finding fault on somebody and castigated means what shouting at uh, his family members for not helping to make that hundred gold coin he started shouting at his wife his son and daughter for not helping him to earn that one gold coin so he stopped singing while he worked so so far while whenever he is working he used to sing but he stopped singing so witnessing this drastic transformation king noticed the change in that servant um, the king was puzzled he was confused king was confused when he sought his advisor self he asked the advisor what exactly has happened the uh, advisor told the king your majesty the servant has now officially joined the 99 club what is 99 club sir now you can say he continued the 99 club is a name given to the people who have enough to be happy so people are everything they have all the blessings they have they can be happy everything is there but are never con content they are not happy at all everything is there to be happy but they are not happy at all because they are always yearning they just want it want it yearning and striving means working for that extra one for that extra one they are yearning and telling to themselves let me get that one final thing and then i'll be happy for lifetime if i get a maruti car i will be so happy lifelong if i buy my own house i'll be happy uh, forever if i get that one lakh i'll be happy forever this is what they are searching for that one particular thing we can be happy even with very little even if you have very little you can be happy in our lives but the minute we are given something bigger and better we want even more so we can be happy suppose if they give something is not enough for us if we want bigger and better we lose our sleep we lose our sleep our happiness we lose we hurt the people around us around us we see the people we hurt them 
All these as a prize for our growing needs and desires. What do you mean by desires? Your selfish needs. So, uh, one of the great president has told, dream, dream, dream. I always say, don't dream, dream, dream. Dreaming is bad. Don't yawn for big, big things. So, you lose your sleep. You lose your happiness. You're not only losing your happiness, you're losing, you're making others' uh, happiness also to lose. So, you work hard. Happily, you work hard. Whatever you get, enjoy it. But don't make a goal that only if I get that, I am successful man. Only if I get that, I will be happy. One great president had stole. Definitely, it is wrong according to the philosophy of life. The philosophy of life says you cannot be happy with anything. Life is not happy. Is already is there. Everything is there to be happy about it. In a child's laughter, you can feel happy. Your mother's laughter, you can be happy. So, you can find happiness everywhere. It is not that you need a Benz car to be happy about. It is not necessary that you need to have a 10 crore rupee to be happy about it. It is not that you need to join in a multinational company to be happy about it. So everything is there. So we heard the people around us all these as a price for our growing needs and desires. So that's what joining the 99 club is all about. So 99 club. So speaking about the 99 club, I request Preeti to come forward and tell us what she means this philosophy is all about in her life. Hi friends, I have come here to uh, tell a story about the 99 club. Once upon a time there lived a king. He had a, a very luxurious lifestyle uh, but he had uh, his life was very luxurious but he was not happy and content with that life. He wants more and more. He was not at all happy. Uh, uh, one servant uh, he, when he who worked under him he was very happy and he sang songs happily when he worked the uh, king was very uh, confused and he wanted to know the reason for the servant's happiness how uh, he could be so happy and how the king with a lot of uh, luxuries he cannot be happy or nor content so he uh, asked the uh, servant the reason for his happiness uh, he said uh, the servant replied that i don't need anything to be happy i just need a place for uh, means uh, i know i need i just need a shelter a roof for um, to stay and uh, a warm and warm food to fill our tummies nothing else we need we don't need any luxuries or something just these two things are enough for me to be happy the king uh, was not uh, satisfied with the servant's reply and he approached the advisor's uh, most tr the advisor's help whom he trusted the most so uh, he asked the advisor the reason for the servant's happiness the advisor said that uh, might be he would have not been a member of the 99 club the king was not aware of the 99 club what it was all about uh, the advisor uh, uh, told him that let us leave a bag full of uh, gold coins uh, in at the doorstep of the servant's house and they uh, left they left the bag full of gold coins the uh, the servant when he opened the door he took the bag he opened and then uh, he counted the coins. They were 99 coins. He, uh, he was not satisfied with the 99 coins and then he wondered about what happened to that one coin. If I get that one coin, uh, it would be uh, rounded off. It would be 100 coins. So, he went in search of the last coin, that is one coin. He uh, searched so long and then uh, he decided uh, to uh, earn for that uh, one, to get that one coin. Um, he, uh, he started uh, working so hard to earn that coin. Uh, now, um, then uh, his life was uh, entirely changed. He was very happy when he had nothing. Now he has got 99 uh, gold coins and now he is he wants a one coin to be happy 
so uh, the advisor told uh, what the 99 uh, again the king approached the advisor uh, the when he told about the 99 club uh, he gave a definition the 99 club is uh, is for the people who have uh, he who have everything to be happy but they are they need more and more that is not enough this is not enough for me and i need more to be happy if i get that i'll be happy and they are not bothered about what they have already with that they can be happy but they are not they are not uh, they are content then um, the king understood about the 99 club uh, then the, the servant's life was uh, entirely changed this is all about the 99 club we have to be happy with whatever we have if we uh, if we want uh, more and more and we are not satisfied with what we have uh, our life will also be the story of the 99 club and la our life will also change as the servant's life changed thank yes, you yes miss preeti are you happy about your life yes sir do you have everything so i am happy with whatever i have oh very good you don't, you don't belong to 99 club i don't belong you don't belong i am not a member of the 99 club <laughs> okay next uh, amani who comes here and she wants to say whether she belongs to 99 club or not Yes, uh, yes. Uh, do you belong to 99 Club or not? You say with the example of the story. Yes. First, I'll tell the story. Okay, sir. okay. Hi, friends. I'm Amani. Now I'm here to tell a short story, the 99 Club. Once upon a time, there lived a king, who, uh, though despite his luxurious lifestyle, he was neither happy nor content. One day, he came across a servant who was happily singing while he worked. This surprised the king he was wondering we are we i mean i have lots of things in life i mean i'm very i live a luxurious lifestyle but still i'm unhappy and gloomy then how come uh, the servant is too happy uh, with what he i mean he had uh, he he's enjoying with his life i mean how is he too happy with what he had so he went and he uh, question he asked the uh, servant how i mean why are you so happy uh, the servant replied your majesty I'm nothing but a servant. Uh, I'm, I'm myself and my family, uh, what we need is just a roof over our head and a food to uh, and a food to fill our tummies. Having heard this, uh, having heard this uh, reply, the king was unhappy with this reply. So he went and uh, he asked the um, suggestion from his most trusted uh, advisor. Uh, after hear the advisor, after hearing the king's oaths and uh, the um, servant's uh, what's that servant's um, story, he suggested the king that uh, um, uh, your Majesty, I think so that uh, the servant is not being part in uh, the 99 club. After hearing this, the king was surprised. 99 club? What exactly is that? He, the king himself doesn't know what 99 club was. So uh, the advisor explained. Uh, asked the king to uh, place a bag full of gold coins in front of the uh, servant's door sto doorstep. One day, the servant, while he opened his door, he found a bag full of uh, gold coins. He was wondering who had left this. Uh, I mean, who left? Who has dropped this? Go uh, what's that? A gold coin in front of my house. So he was busy in counting the coins. While he was counting, he saw only 99 coins. One coin was missing. So he was wondering, how come, how come the people will leave only 99 coins? Uh, how come it, one coin is missing? So definitely they would. The one, one, I mean one coin might be here somewhere. So let me um, find the, uh, find that one coin. So from that day onwards, he worked hard and harder, and he uh, to search that coin. Um, he uh, because of that his life completely changed. He stopped singing songs, and uh, he uh, he. What's that? He spent his whole life for in searching that one coin, and uh, the, uh, all the joy, happiness was missing in life. He started to shout uh, the p people around him, uh, and uh, his total appearance got changed. Then finally, all these these things were being noticed by the king, and. Uh, Somehow the king got to know what the 99 club was. Finally, uh, the king uh, the king got the answer what the 99 club was. The conclusion from this story is: be happy with what you have. Be happy and satisfied with what you have. Happiness never comes. I mean, happiness comes uh, when you live a life. Uh, 
uh, I mean, when you are satisfied and uh, content with what you have. So, in which category you belong to? Be honest. Honestly, I'm in 99th club. <laughs> you are in the 99th club. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Uh, it's good honestly that you are... Honestly speaking, I'm in 99th yeah, club. Yeah, you're honestly, you're told that you need something to find your happiness. Yeah. You're not satisfied with life, so you're worried, you're not satisfied, you need something that something will give you happiness that one coin what is that one coin your search for that one coin yes uh, uh, yes Srivita please come forward and tell what you are able to understand yes uh, uh, yes thank you very much uh, uh, yes uh, uh, you belong to which club 99 or uh, 199 club tell me what I don't like. belong to 99 club sir you're satisfied with what you have are you sure yes uh, please madam what what are you tell about you you belong to 99 club or no, sir. Ah, you are satisfied with what yes, you sir. have. Yes, sir. Yes, please uh, stand up and say what you are, which category you belong to. One coin, sir. Huh? One coins. W one coin. One coins. You are in the uh, 99 and club. Coins, okay, 100 and what is the 100th coin? What nine, is the single nine coin? 99 coins are enough, uh, but I earned one, one coins. But that one coin also she wants. She doesn't want to leave that one coin. That's what she says. Okay. Nanbrakli, yes, American Angular Vagathun, what is it? மனதை தொடக்கூடிய அன்பு சார்ந்த கொள்கை ரீதியான ஒரு கதைகளை நீங்கள் பார்க்கிறீர்கள் இது இரண்டாவது கதை நைன்டி நைன் கிளப் என்றால் என்ன தொண்ணூற்றி ஒன்று கூட்டணி என்று சொல்கிறோம் அது கப் கிளப் என்றால் சங்கமம் அப்ப இந்த கதையின்படி ஒரு ராஜா இருக்கிறார் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப பெரிய நாட்டை ஆண்டு கொண்டு இருக்கிறார் எப்பவுமே சோகமாக இருக்கிறார் கவலையாக இருக்கிறார் மிகப்பெரிய ஆடம்பர பங்களாக்கள் இருக்கிறது அவருக்கு அரண்மனைகள் இருக்கிறது தோற்றம் தொறவு ஆட்கள் இருக்கிறார்கள் மிகப்பெரிய படை இருக்கிறது ஆனால் சோகமாக இருக்கிறார் ஒரு நாள் அவர் அப்படி வந்து கொண்டிருக்கிற பொழுது அவருடைய அரண்மனையிலே ஒரு வேலையால் ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாகவும் மகிழ்ச்சியாகவும் ஆடி பாடி கொண்டு தன்னுடைய வேலையை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார் இதை பார்த்த ராஜா அவனை அழைத்து நீ எப்படி சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கிறாய் எப்படி நல்ல மகிழ்ச்சியுடன் ஆடல் பாடல்களை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாய் என்று கேட்க அந்த சர்வெண்ட் அந்த வேலையால் சொல்கிறான் ஐயா எனக்கு தங்குவதற்கு ராஜா எனக்கு கூரை வேண்டும் தலைக்கு மேல் ஒரு கூரை இருந்தால் போதும் வயிறுக்கு உண்பதற்கு சூடான உணவு கிடைத்தால் போதும் இதை கிடைத்தால் போதும் என்று நினைத்து கொண்டு வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் எனக்கு இதைவிட வேறு ஒன்றும் தேவையில்லை ஆகையால் தான் நான் சந்தோஷமாகவும் மகிழ்ச்சியாகவும் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் என்று சொல்ல ராஜா குழம்பி விடுகிறார் இவ்வளவு பெரிய அரண்மனை எனக்கு இல்லாத அந்த சந்தோஷம் அந்த ஏழைக்கு இருக்கிறது எனக்கு இல்லாத ஒரு ஆனந்தம் அவனிடம் இருக்கிறது எனக்கு இருக்கக்கூடிய அரண்மனை அவனிடம் இல்லை ஆனால் அவனிடம் இருக்கக்கூடிய ஆனந்தமும் மகிழ்ச்சியும் எனக்கு இல்லை என்று நினைத்து வருந்தப்பட்டு வேதனைப்பட்டு தன்னுடைய அறிவுரையாளனை மந்திரியை வர சொல்கிறார் மந்திரி ராஜாவினுடைய இந்த பிரச்சனைகளை அறிந்து கொண்டு ராஜாவிடம் சொல்கிறான் ராஜா அவன் நைன்டி நைன் கிளப் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது கூட்டணிகள் அதில் அவன் இல்லை அங்கத்தினராக இல்லை என்று சொல்ல ராஜா குழம்பி விடுகிறார் தொண்ணூற்றி ஒன் தொம்பது தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது கூட்டணி அவை என்ன என்று கேட்க அதற்கு இவர் என்ன சொல்கிறார் இந்த அறிவுரையாளர் அல்லது மந்திரி அந்த வேலைக்காரன் வீட்டுக்கு முன்னாடி ஒரு பையிலே தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது தங்க நாணயங்களை வைத்து அவன் வீட்டுக்கு முன்னாடி வைத்துவிட வேண்டும் என்று சொல்ல ராஜாவும் அதை போன்று தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது நாணயங்கள் உள்ள பையை அந்த வேலைக்காரன் வீட்டில் முன்னாடி வைக்க வேலைக்காரன் கதவை திறக்க தங்க நாணயங்களை பார்க்கிறான் மகிழ்ச்சி பொங்க எண்ணுகிறான் எண்ணிய பொழுது தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது தங்க நாணயங்கள் தான் இருக்கிறது ஒரு நாணயம் இல்லை அவனுக்கு தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது நாணயங்கள் இருப்பது மகிழ்ச்சி கட்டவில்லை அந்த ஒரு நாணயம் கிடைக்கவில்லையே என்று அங்கும் இங்கும் தேடுகிறான் இறுதியாக என்ன முடிவு செய்கிறான் தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பதுடன் நூறு ஒன்று இருந்தால் தான் நூறாகிவிடும் அது முழுமையடைந்துவிடும் ஆக அந்த ஒரு தங்க நாணயத்தை சம்பாதிப்பதற்காக இரவும் பகலும் சிரத்தையுடன் ரொம்ப தீவிர அக்கறையுடன் அவன் உழைக்க ஆரம்பிக்கிறான் ஒரு லட்சியத்தை நோக்கி போகிறான் போகிற பொழுது அவனுடைய மனைவியை மறந்து விடுகிறான் குழந்தைகளை மறந்து விடுகிறான் சந்தோஷத்தை மறந்து விடுகிறான் மகிழ்ச்சியை மறந்து விடுகிறான் அனைத்தையும் இழக்கிறான் எதற்காக அந்த ஒரு தங்க நாணயத்திற்காக ஆனால் இருப்பதோ தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது தங்க நாணயங்கள் ராஜா பார்க்கிறார் அந்த வேலைக்காரன் ரொம்ப தீவிரமாக சோகமாக ஆர்வமாக வேலை செய்வதை மறுபடியும் வந்து அந்த 
மந்திரியிடம் கேட்கிறார் என்ன ஆகிவிட்டது என்று அவனிடம் கேட்க அந்த மந்திரி சொல்கிறார் அவனும் நம்மை போன்று தொண்ணூற்றி ஒன்பது அந்த கூட்டணியில் வந்து சேர்ந்து விட்டான் அங்கத்தினர் ஆகிவிட்டான் நாம் உலகத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய அநேகம் பேர் இருக்கக்கூடிய சந்தோஷங்களை பற்றி அறியாமல் இல்லாததை ஒன்றை நினைத்து இயங்குகிறோம் அது கிடைத்தால் தான் மகிழ்ச்சி அது கிடைத்தால் தான் வெற்றி அது கிடைத்தால் தான் ஆனந்தம் என்று நினைத்து கொண்டு இருக்கக்கூடிய வாழ்க்கையை சந்தோஷமாக வாழாமல் வேதனையுடன் கழித்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த தொண்ணூற்றி ஒம்பது தங்க நாணயங்களை நினைத்து அதில் மற்றற்ற மகிழ்ச்சியையும் ஆனந்தத்தையும் பெறுவோம் அந்த இழந்த இல்லாத அந்த ஒரு தங்க நாணயத்தை பற்றி நாம் தீவிர கவனம் செலுத்த வேண்டாம் இதுதான் இந்த கதையினுடைய தத்துவம் ஆக லட்சியம் வை ஆனால் லட்சியத்திற்காக உன்னுடைய மகிழ்ச்சியை இழந்து விடாதே லட்சியம் என்பது என்ன உனக்கு பிடித்ததை நோக்கி செல் அதற்காக அதுதான் முழுமை அது கிடைத்தால் தான் ஆனந்தம் என்று நினைத்து விடாதே இதுதான் இந்த கதையினுடைய காராம்சம் இனி அடுத்த கதைகளுக்கு செல்வோம் தேங்க்யூ வெரி மச்